Okay, so today on my channel, we're going to test out a pair of late Victorian, early 20th century opera glasses. And we're going to see what is it like to see through them, if I can do this properly. All right, you ready? Okay, let's go. And that looks like shiz. Yeah, that totally looks like, oh, wait, wait, we could see something. So that's what you're seeing. And my dog is barking because he wants to go out and and uh, watch what I'm doing right now. And I'm not letting him out. Oh, we see the little bird right there. He's right there um, next to that yellow bush. Let's try this again. There he is. This is actually quite interesting. All right, let's go. And I'm going to focus out because it has a wheel for focusing. All right, let me just do that. Give me one second. And if you see stuffed animals randomly in my backyard, no, we're not creepy people. It's my dog's toys. There's a lamb over there, by the way. All right, let's try it now. It's completely, the wheel is completely where the eyepieces are extended. And let me get my big gloved hand out of the way because I'm wearing opera glass uh, gloves with this. Man, these would suck. If I was watching an opera, I'd be really, really pissed off using a pair of these glasses. They are not fun. I mean, but you can see close up. All right, let's check out the flamingo over here. Yeah, that sort of sucks. All right, let's check out the stuffed animal. He's about, I'm going to say about 8 feet, 10 feet away. But it doesn't come in like clear and crisp, if you know what I mean. Let's try the other lens. Aha! All right, so now we're about 15 to 20 feet from the tree. Let's check out the little ornaments that fell over. The little garden gnome type of things. And yeah, eh, I wouldn't be too thrilled using these in the 1800s. Let's check out that bush back there next to the uh, plum Vesuvius tree. And you can see it, but the details aren't that awesome, if you know what I mean. All right, let's check out the lawn chairs. Now that's a good, I don't know, I suck at distance, 25, 30 feet. And you can see the lawn chair and the fire pit and the other lawn chair. But these things are really overrated. And believe it or not, back in the uh, olden days, people paid actually about this. A pair like these would have been about uh, 500. Yeah, fi about 500 bucks. Um, I'd want my money back. That's for damn sure. Um, <laughs> they pretty suck. Uh, pretty much suck. All right, let's check out. All right, now we're much closer to the tree. And uh, some things fell over from the wind. All right, let's check this out. Yeah, I got to clean the inside of these lenses, obviously. Yeah, these were definitely overrated back in the day. Nothing, nothing special about these at all. 500 freaking dollars. All right, you guys uh, learned something today, right? I hope you did. And uh, so what did we learn? What did we learn? We learned that the uh, Victorian women <laughs> and uh, the early 20th century women wasted their money on these opera glasses um, just to look fancy. Pretty much that's all the deal was, just to look fancy, hold up one of these little pretty little um, telescoping handles and to walk around like they were highfalutin and you pretty much were screwed out of $500. Um, well, you can see the power lines pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it gets things closer to you. Let's check out um, the roof of that house. Is there a chimney? Yeah, actually, nah, these aren't that bad. Let's check that out. I know, I can't ever end these videos when I should. I should know better because you guys are hitting the back button. All right, let's check that. All right, they're not that bad, but these things are not worth 500 doll hairs. Definitely not worth 500 doll hairs. I wouldn't have paid it. If I, if I saw these, I would have returned it back to, uh, uh, let's see, aloe, 
and uh, company, SL, ASLO and company, I would have been like, yo, I want my money back. I would have done like an Amazon refund. Um, I would have sent it back uh, immediately. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Actually, wait, 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 I see an airplane. Hold on. If we can zone in on it. Oh, forget it. It's long gone. <laughs> Definitely long gone. And one more, last but not least, let's check out that uh, transformer. And that's about all you got for $500 back then. All right, see you guys all soon. So long, farewell, and we'll do another experiment soon. Bye for now.